Okay, we're going to do a quick video on uh, the difference in the KJ66 chamber and the Mark Drake design chamber. As you can see, this is a thicker uh, material. It's 0.5 stainless. This is 0.5 stainless, and the sticks, the sticks are quite long compared to KJ sticks. So it, it does make an heavier combustor. This one weighs, just set it on scales, it weighs 270 grams. This with all the sticks in, it's not finished yet, but with all the sticks in, it weighs 120 grams. But this material is very thin, it's 0.3 thick. I think the ends might be a bit thicker, I think they might be 0 0.5, 0 0.4. Um, so material does make a big difference. But somebody was asking me whether to put one of these in an FD364. Now I haven't done it myself but somebody did the same design combustor, camps combustor with the sticks from the back. Uh, obviously this has got the sticks from the front, the, the fuel gets injected in there. Uh, this would go that way and the fuel pipe, delivery pipe comes forward and obviously you're injecting into the sticks that way. Anyway what you have to do um, this is a FD364 in the work in progress. Uh, you'd have to make a longer back end and a bigger back end. Now this is, I, I've just jigged this up, it's a bit too big this. It wants to be about, this ring wants to be about 78 milli diameter. At the moment you can see it's 81. But if you had about 78 milli, let's get it on there. It would sit in, it would sit in this cone, which would be it would give you the advantage of when this combustor sits on here, it, it sits on this inside edge, and it can it can make a burn mark and start burning through. Obviously, this is mild steel, so if you have a combustor that sits in this stainless steel part, a 78 mil diameter, it would stop that. So you could put a back on and it would sit something like that. I would suggest you make it, at the moment this is from there to there is about 21 mil, 22 mil. So this belt band isn't quite, it's a bit too big a diameter and it's not wide enough. So if that was about 20 mil you'd end up about the same height. It's got to be about the same height because you'd have to spring load this with three springs. Uh, the same as the FD364. Um, so it, 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 might, it might be worth a try. Um, obviously this is a lot easier. The jets, I haven't, I haven't done the jets yet. There's like, uh, you've got to put, you've got to put slits in here and then form a four and a half milli hole uh, at an angle to introduce swirl at the front. Now obviously that would have to be the opposite way around than the KJ because it's opposite rotation engines is the FD364 so uh, and then uh, perhaps these you, you drill 6 milli and then you you swage them in uh, to 6.5 diameter I, I'd be tempted to try it at 6 mil without swaging and see how it ran because um, I don't know whether like I say I don't know whether it would suit it, but it might be worth a try for anybody wanting, willing to have a go. Um, also, obviously, mine is a combined nozzle guide vein, outer shroud, inner shroud. Now, on the original FD364, the blades are welded on the outside, and then this bit would pass through. So you'd have to you'd have to reduce this diameter to suit what you're doing. I've I've done it so that. Um, it fits on the inside like that but you could have it the same diameter as that and it would just be like your FD, it would need minimum modifications it would be very much like the FD364 with this going all through this would have to be longer okay uh, I think that's all I've got to say really okay any questions uh, just ask <laughs>